hello welcome to today's video my name is Dave Adams I'm a web developer and I'm going to introduce you to bootstrap today I'm going to show you how to set up your first bootstrap project and I'm going to briefly walk you through the site so that you can get any resource that you need let's get right into it what you need to know is bootstrap is beginner friendly firstly I want to create my project folder and I'm going to name it bootstrap then I'm going to open Visual Studio Code and open the folder within Visual Studio Code. Now I want to create my index.html file. And within that file, I want to create my basic HTML template. And I'm going to change the title to Bootstrap. What I need now is to go to the bootstrap site to get started. Bootstrap currently runs version 5.3. When you get to the site, what you need is the docs page. Now that you're on the docs page, what we are looking for is the CDN link. You can copy this or scroll down a bit, get your CSS, place it in your link tag get your your javascript source place it in the script source and you're good to go what i'll say is you can just copy this and then replace what you have in your file it has both the css and the javascript that you're going to need for bootstrap and that's all you need to get started with bootstrap now bootstrap takes a component based approach where they create all the components that you are going to need such as a nav bar, a slider, footer and all that. On this side nav, we have all the things that you need for bootstrap. So we have components, we have utilities and utilities are all the things that you need, all the individual ingredients that you need to get your components. So to use bootstrap effectively, you basically have to understand CSS a bit, a little CSS and you are good to go. Now these are all the components that are in boot, uh, Bootstrap. I'm going to use the navbar for today. As you can see, there's an example of a navbar here and there's an example code here. I'm just going to copy this, go into my HTML file, create a comment navbar and paste the code I copied right beneath that comment and save. I'm going to launch this in my within my browser and it should appear. Now to change the color, still on the, the navbar component page, you just scroll down a bit and there are different types of navbars as you scroll down. It could be that you have you need a navbar that has a, an image logo there's one like that you need a navbar with an image logo and text all of that has been provided for you you just have to explore the page and then get what you need now what i want to do is to change the color as you can see there are three examples here and then there are corresponding codes the navbar that i used initially had a white background or an off-white background and i want to make it dark therefore i'm going to change i'm going to copy this class which I need in fact I need both this and that I'm going to go in, uh, back into my code and I need to get rid of this first because this is the class that makes the navbar have a white background and I'm going to paste what I, I just copied now my navbar should be dark with white text to go with it and the next thing I want to do is to get, right, I thought there was a footer component. Okay. All right. Okay. There isn't a footer component on the main bootstrap page, but it's so easy to get all those components online you just have to search 
and then add a bootstrap version so if it's a bootstrap 5 footer that you need you just search for it and then you can get it the other component i want to demonstrate is the other the button component now i'm going to create a new class and then just place a comment underneath and then my bootstrap components to demonstrate all the different kinds of buttons the four buttons we have in bootstrap and you can see that all these buttons have been placed there going back it into the website anything that you need to change individually like colors borders background colors and all that are right under utilities and that's how you get started with bootstrap if you enjoyed this video like subscribe and share